Roger, you know, the collapse in Baltimore is putting a spotlight on bridge safety right here in Connecticut. State officials say that bridges are inspected every other year, sometimes even longer if ongoing issues have been identified. They claim what happened in Baltimore is not likely to happen here in Connecticut because we simply don't have that size of ships in Connecticut. The state also says that there's safety precautions in place, including systems that can actually help bridges absorb any sort of impact from the boats. Remember that bridge was built in the 70s. Well, some businesses here in Connecticut may run into delivery delays on certain goods following the collapse of that bridge. Yeah, and we have Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Schuler joining us live in the studio. A lot of people are wondering, you know, are businesses going to run into some issues because of this, Olivia? Well, we're going to definitely answer that for you. An economist professor at Quinnipiac University says Baltimore is actually the ninth largest port in the United States. It's a major shipping area for goods getting delivered up and down the East Coast. But really, right now, it's too early to know exactly how significant the clamps will be on business owners here in Connecticut. However, Scott Dolch with the Connecticut Restaurant Association says some local restaurants do rely on food products and kitchen equipment that come from the Baltimore Harbor. The Baltimore native says the Francis Scott Key Bridge was used as a massive causeway to get trucks up and down I-95. If businesses and companies do run into delays on goods, Dolch says businesses fortunately know how to pivot. We have learned throughout COVID and challenges with port closures and things that have happened. They have to adapt on the fly and understand that changes can happen. Whenever an accident like this happens, shipping companies, they quickly reroute their ships to other ports. Another reason is USA has the technological prowess to rebuild a bridge like this rather quickly compared to most other countries. Now, to get a better sense of the impacts of the bridge collapse, Dolch says he plans to talk with the National Restaurant Association later this week. In the studio, Olivia Schuler, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Okay, Olivia, thank you. And, of course, stay with Eyewitness News for the very latest on the bridge collapse in Maryland. Of course, we know this is an evolving situation. We'll bring you updates on air and online. All right.